Well, good evening and welcome back. Getting ready to do evening chores here. The cows have really enjoyed the nice cooler weather we've had today. Didn't quite reach 80 today, so it's kind of looking like that. We're waiting for rain. I'm supposed to be getting about an inch and a half of rain, they're talking. So pastures will enjoy that, cattle will enjoy that, and the pigs will really enjoy that. Well, we're doing a little fencing, a little repair, a little new addition before we move the cows tonight. So I thought we might bring you along with that. Got Ella helping this evening with me. We do high tensile wire, um, almost exclusively. Uh, if we have bob wire around, then we are slowly replacing that as needed. But using just insulators, and we'll show you how to do that. You can do a whole tutorial on that if you if there's interest out there for that. But we use electric on all our wires, keeps the cattle from rubbing on them. Um, they respect a single hotline, but since we're going to be around the gardens, then we're going to go ahead and put two wires all the way around the gardens. So, we thought I'd just bring you in for that little quick thing. We'll bring you in and kind of show you that. Also going to finish up with the rain coming and get the caterpillar tunnel finished up. Uh, let's see, keep moving around on you. But it is right there. And we've got one more thing to do. A couple of screws to put in and we are ready for plastic over that. So we're gonna try to get that before it rains tonight. We'll uh, show you that. And if we get plastic on it tonight, we probably will be putting lettuce in it tomorrow. So we'll go through that hopefully tomorrow.
All right, well, we're getting ready to do the cat tunnel, finish it up. Been getting a little bit of rain, so we're good with that. A little peak, there's some nice looking cucumbers. Tomatoes, this house is getting ready to get tore out, and tomatoes will start getting lettuce put back in here. So, but, got the cows moved, got the fencing done. So, we're gonna go over here to the tunnel. Still calling for about two inches. So, trying to get the co tunnel covered so that we can get lettuce planted in it tomorrow or let's see it or wednesday so we'll see that's our plan have a look out here the uh we did get the carrots in on both of those but it was so warm that we couldn't keep it moist so we went ahead and put fabric over it watered them and then put fabric over them and that'll hold the moisture and we'll pull that off in about seven days so that they can uh, go ahead and germinate, but it'll also keep the weeds down, so. The beans and corn are coming along on this, this garden really well. run the cows behind temporary one wire on a lot of areas on the paddocks and stuff so otherwise we two wire along, along a lot of our perimeter we build it just like that use timeless posts made out of Made out of vinyl, so they're they're flexible. They're a great product for those. So, but just finish up the one inch irrigation over here for the height tunnel. We'll actually have overhead and drip. So, lure before he fling it out. So, like, well, he did. He just didn't like spread out. So. It came back, hooked him in the Got the, the crew. And like, it, you like, try to fling it, fling it, and it, it, it a little right into his phone. Him? Him? Like so, we got Jesse putting in the one inch line. So, That'll be our overhead I, irrigation. Wiggle wire I along the ends for our end wall, so we'll just, yeah. that's where it'll attach the plastic. This be ready to prep and plant tomorrow. Anymore, so, so we didn't, if we missed it, I guess his uh, thumb would have been like messed up forever. But we'll go ahead and get this put up. All right. Well, it is installed and completed, ready for the lettuce to go in the ground. So, a little rain on us, but with the crew's help, we got her done. Plastic is on. It's gonna be hard, it's dark. But she's taut, and she's ready for plants. So, thanks for tuning in again. And pull up a chair, and welcome to Tabletop Farms.